in his work Human All Too Human, Friedrich Wilhelm Nietzsche explores the concept of the life of the enemy. Nietzsche argues that individuals who dedicate their lives to combating an enemy actually have a vested interest in the enemy's survival. According to Nietzsche, those who live solely to fight against an adversary become dependent on the existence of that enemy. Their purpose and identity are shaped by their opposition to the enemy. And without this opposing force, they may feel lost or purposeless by continually engaging with the enemy. These individuals seek validation and affirmation of their own beliefs and values. They rely on the enemy's presence for the continuous reinforcement of their own sense of righteousness. Their existence is intertwined with the existence of the enemy. Nietzsche's observation highlights a complex psychological dynamic. Instead of seeking resolution or the elimination of the enemy, these individuals perpetuate and support the very forces they claim to combat. Rather than desiring the enemy's downfall, their interest lies in the enemy's preservation. This paradoxical relationship raises questions about the nature of conflict and the motivations behind it. Nietzsche challenges us to reflect on whether our intentions truly lie in eradicating the enemy, or if deep down there is a hidden desire for the enemy's survival. In a world where enemies seem to constantly emerge and evolve, Nietzsche's words remind us to critically examine the motivations driving our actions. Are we truly fighting for a cause or simply seeking validation and a sense of purpose through the existence of an adversary? Nietzsche's powerful message urges us to question our own stance in the face of opposition and to seek a deeper understanding of the complexities of human nature. Only then can we break free from the cycle of dependency on an enemy and truly transcend the limitations of our own combative existence.